Japan's Olympic Minister Seiko Hashimoto said on Tuesday that the rearranged Tokyo Games must be held at any cost in 2021. Now, speaking at a news conference, Hashimoto said the Games should be held for the benefit of the athletes, regardless of the challenges posed by the novel coronavirus pandemic. Now, the Japanese government and the International Olympic Committee took the unprecedented decision in March to postpone the Games originally scheduled to begin in July until 2021 because of the virus. I mean, um, for... Should the games go on? Because I, I, I really do not like that statement, uh, games go on as planned with or without COVID-19. We should be aware that this virus is out there and it is not going anytime soon. So precautionary measures should be taken before making a decision to go ahead with the games. I think definitely for him to have come out with that statement, there must be plans, obviously, for the Olympics to take place with precautionary measures. Mm -hmm. We, um, You know, for a couple of months, we're talking about how important fans are to sports. Yeah. And then talking about the Olympics in particular, look, the fans being at the Olympics is a spectacle of the event. Mm -hmm. So I can't really imagine having um, a whole Olympic tournament, which is probably the biggest sporting tournament in the world, and not having fans there. So definitely they would want to have fans mm -hmm. there. So that means that they will have some certain measures which will allow a certain number of fans to be in the stadium and to be everywhere else. So mm -hmm. for him to put out that statement, I believe good plans are in place. All right, we have Fumile of Amesho joining us to talk more on this. She is the founder and creative director of Nigeria Athletics. Good to have you with us, Fumi. Hi, good morning, Dr. Good morning, how have you been? Thank you for having me. <laughs> true, true. I mean, we heard um, what the IOC um, organizing committee, what they've said, uh, that the games go on as planned with or without COVID-19. I mean, how does this make you feel? Uh, okay, I have mixed feelings about this hmm. because... Um, imagine an Olympic or uh, tournament without fans, yeah. and you know, um, the athletes, sports people, um, the competitors would derive some of their energy from fans, you know. So, when they don't have the fans there, it's like the ginger is not there, let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. But when we look at this, when we look at the competitions that have been held this year, the Premier League, the English Premier League, the US Open is currently on, and there have been no fans and the, um, they've been able to perform. So why can't the Olympics also take place? Hmm. Um, I've had situations whereby they will allow few fans to come in. And I think that's where we get to. Because when you look at to Tokyo, for instance, they are very good with technology. So I'll see situations whereby few fans will be allowed inside the stadium or inside the um, arena or whatever it is. It may not be as crowded as we experienced before in Olympic tournaments, but there will still be that feeling that fans had there. So I want the Olympics to take this actually, because these athletes have prepared for four years. Now it's going to five years because it's next year. Mm -hmm. And you can't just deny them the opportunity of being an Olympic champion or being a Olympian. So with or without the fans, I feel that the Olympics of the, the tournament should go ahead because we need these things. We need these people to compete. This is where they get their joy from. If they don't do this because of Corona, then it's like making them to to have a life, it's not have a life at all. Let me use that word. Yeah. You understand? So it's actually important that we try and do this to go ahead, with or without coming and mm -hmm. having a vaccine or whatever. True, but, but I mean, precautionary measures should be taken, and this feels like some athletes will be pulling out of this one because they're not sure um, what their safety will be like when they eventually travel to Tokyo for the Games. Don't you think they should have put out a better statement on probably guidelines um, towards the protection of these athletes? You, you know, uh, when we talk about technology in the world, you always mention Japan. Sure. So Japan, like... I, I was watching something a while ago, and I, I saw the precautionary measures in Japan about people that go to clubs. So if they can take that yeah, those precautionary measures for clubs, those that go to clubs, imagine a sporting tournament. So I think these precautionary measures will be there. Mm. The safety will be there. Whatever would it take for, for, for these athletes to be safe, to feel safe, for the competitors to feel safe, for the um, officials to feel safe, I think those measures will be taken. So the athletes have no reason to worry. I made mention of the EPL earlier on. If footballers can go ahead to play the EPL to play football, to play the normal, normal tournament without the fear of corona, then I think other, other sports should also be allowed to do this at the Olympics. Mm. You understand? So it's, it's an even thing. 
even when you ask the athletes, they'll tell you that no, I want to compete at the Olympics. I want to go to the Olympics. So it's now left to Japan to say, okay, we are ready to host you. These are the precautionary measures. IOC will also say, you guys are assured of your safety. And in case anything happens, I feel that the, um, I would like to, hospital measures or the medical measures to make sure that these athletes are well taken care of will also be provided. So it's an even thing, in my, in my opinion. All right. And for the Nigerian athletes, uh, do you believe that they'll be prepared for the Olympics when it starts? Because we've not been seeing them train, apart from the international ones who are training. And <laughs> recently, I heard that most of them have not been able to travel for international competitions because they are stuck here and the borders are not open for them to travel. Yeah, like, I, I feel that pain. In fact, I am also, I'm also affected as a journalist because mm. I can't go to competitions, covering competitions right now. Mm. So if I feel the pain, imagine the athletes. The home-based athletes, there has been no competition whatsoever. They don't even know where they are getting for the year. Mm. I know most athletes, they close their season. They said, you know what, I'm done for the season. Probably next year, I'll come back. Mm. And, for example, the likes of S.A. Bowman, she was already in Nigeria before the lockdown started. So she has been stuck in here. She can't travel out. She can't go for the diamond business. She can't do anything. And it's actually very frustrating for her. But I just believe that they understand that this is nobody's fault, actually. Corona just happened all of a sudden. We didn't know it was going to take this long. So the only appeal I have is for the officials in Nigeria, the official tradition of Nigeria, or people in charge, to actually create, even if it's mini competition, Without fans, you know, create many competitions for them to keep safe feet, to still feel alive, to still feel that yes, man, athletes are ahead of next year because there are so many competitions next year, and it's so denied that oh, their body has locked down for the whole year, and next year they have to start bringing their body back. It's going to be very, very like hard on them. So that's just the only appeal I have. I think for the athletes, too. most of them they feel their physical. So the Amazon I think that every woman, a lot of them, especially a lot of them are feeling their feelings. So it's it's sad for them and I just hope the officials can just the institution can just do something before the year ends so that they can still feel that okay, I have to be successful for them. All right. Thank you very much, Fumi, for speaking with Before us on this. All right. Keep it locked down and continue to stay safe. <laughs> yeah, you too. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, well, great analysis from her. And uh, we understand why they want to go on as planned. Not anything that has to do with money now, but because of the love of the game and the athletes know that they've prepared so much for this game and they need to go there. So I'm sure uh, they, would have, they would have had um, preventive measures for these athletes and the fans. Definitely. No, talking about the athletes, it has like a mental effect on them. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic and no suspension of all sporting activities, these athletes have been preparing towards the Olympics for about four years since the last um, Olympics, which did happen. So number one, it happening has affected their form you know, first of all, mm. and then mentally as well. Some of them have been isolated from their training centers, from their training partners, from their coaches, just like she said about S.A. Brume, who has yeah. not been able to go back yeah. um, to her base in the U.S. So it's going to be difficult for a lot of them. So one major thing is the fact that they don't want these athletes to lose focus. They mm -hmm. don't want these athletes to lose form. But truth be told, it's not going to be the same. Now, the onus has to be on the athletes. How are they going to prepare themselves? How are they going to be able to get themselves together? Mm -hmm. A lot of them were looking forward to breaking records, you know, setting new records, both personal, national, mm -hmm. and probably international records as well. So now, a lot of work has to do with these coaches. Now, they need to find a way to get these players together and regroup them. Um, in terms of football, you yeah. know, being part of the Olympics Olympic now, game. these coaches are going to have an issue because most players obviously would have grown a year older. So now you now have to start thinking about um, players under the age of 23 and then which select senior players do you want to get into the team? Yeah. Same thing for basketball as well. Um, for Nigeria, the Tigers and the Tigers were doing extremely well. Mm -hmm. They were in good form. Um, they did very well in their qualifying. Qualifiers. Yeah, in their qualifiers. So everyone was looking for, forward to them performing at the Olympics. Now, with no games, look, only God knows what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But I believe now, if they set a new date for the Olympics, this makes everyone, um, it gives them a target, right? So now everyone can set friendly matches, everyone can set, um, should I say, hits, basically, mm. towards the Olympics. So I all wish right. all the athletes all the best. All right, wishing all the athletes all the best as they prepare for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. And as much as it's going to be going down in 2021, it will still be called the Tokyo 2020 Olympics.